taking advantage of the increase in sympathy towards former president and convicted felon Donald Trump, Judge Eileen Cannon made her move to dismiss his indictment in the Mar-a-Lago classified documents case, which was regarded as one of the strongest cases against the former president. In a ruling on Monday, Cannon wrote that the appointment of special counsel Jack Smith to prosecute the uh, case violates the appointments clause of the U.S. Constitution. Basically, going after the fact that, oh, oh you appointed a special prosecutor? Ho, ho, not on my watch. Not gonna happen. Uh, or, you know. Can't let that happen. Because we can't actually go after and prosecute the, and discuss the case as, uh, on its merits. Can't do that. We're gonna go after procedural stuff. Uh, so now, this is an absolute win for Donald Trump, who had filed a motion earlier this month to pause the case shortly after the Supreme Court ruled that U.S. presidents have broad immunity from prosecution for official acts. In that case, Clarence Thomas questioned whether Smith had been lawfully appointed in his concurring opinion. Uh, in fact, he wrote, if this unprecedented prosecution is to, is to proceed, it must be conducted by someone duly authorized to do so by the American people. The lower court should thus answer these essential questions concerning the special counsel's appointment before proceeding. Oh, well, um, Hunter Biden would should, you know, would likely uh, also rejoice at this because who appointed him? Uh, the, the guy who was going after him, uh, Mr. Weiss. Hmm. Are you sure about this, Thomas? Uh, now, of course, the response was swift. Uh, one person says, I'm no lawyer, but to seem nuts. To me, uh, our country is in a very bad place if we can no longer hold people accountable, you know, because we, we can't appoint special prosecutors. Weird. She's rolling the dice that he wins and gets put on the Supreme Court. Uh, oof, imagine that. I mean, next, uh, there could be potentially several openings in the Supreme Court over the next four years, possibly, which could put the court back into balance. If Trump gets back in, well then no, it's not going to be back into balance. It's going to be conservative supermajority for the end of our lifetimes, anyway, at least mine. Uh, now, there's another uh, who asks, how? How does it do this? The DOJ can investigate violations of the law. How does it matter how it decides who the prosecutor is internally? How is that an appointment? Another says, so she's saying every single special prosecutor ever appointed was unconstitutional? Good to know, right, Hunter? I guess why should be unconstitutional as well. Another says, this is insane, and literally all of this could have been avoided if another judge was assigned to the case. Hopefully this will get appealed. Uh, another says, another sad day for America. For anyone who missed it, Clarence Thomas gave the needed ammunition to do this with his concurrence in the immunity case. Now, in her ruling, by the way, Cannon favorably cited Thomas's concurrence three times and cited Thomas five times in total. Hmm. So definitely got the okay, the, the nod, the go ahead. Hey, Justice, uh, Judge Cannon, here's, here's how, what you're going to do, right? This is the road we want you to follow, okay? We're, we're going to give you the breadcrumbs here to follow. And uh, hopefully you figure out what we're trying to say with this concurring opinion. And she caught on. She's like, oh, oh, that, that's right. Mm, yeah, that's right. Now, another said, she needs to be impeached and removed from the bench for blatant bias and a staggering level of incompetence. This matter has been ruled on already. So, now, here's the thing about this, right? It is a big victory for Trump, but it's not a victory on the merits. <laughs> it's very, very important to point out that this was nothing more than procedural nonsense. It doesn't lay a case that he didn't unlawfully retain documents. He did. It's very, very clear. He absolutely retained these documents without uh, having the ability to do so, the legal ability to do so. Those were not his documents, and then he refused to give them back. So all of this says that uh, Mayor Garland just illegally appointed the cop to investigate the crime that we all saw him commit in real time. Okay, that, that's really it. There is a mountain of evidence to that effect. She did not dismiss the case on the merits. Simple as that. It, it can be brought again, but the problem is, okay, and, and the reason that she slow walked it for so long is because she knew that if it went to another judge, it would be a slam dunk case. Slam dunk case. 
So she slow walked it, did as much as she a delay as she could until she found the perfect moment to let it go. Okay. I mean, what are the odds, right? Pretty damn good, I would say. Donald Trump is one of the luckiest MFers on the planet. Let me tell you what. He beats Hillary Clinton, right, in this, you know, bizarre election, okay, that was more of a rebuke of Hillary Clinton uh, and the establishment than it was for Donald Trump, manages to weasel out of pretty much every single criminal charge against him at this point, and is now up against, I think, one of the weakest Democratic incumbents that I've seen. And he will likely win. And this is after surviving an assassination attempt and being conferred near total immunity by the Supreme Court. I couldn't get any better for this guy. Seriously. Now, he reacted, of course, to the decision by saying, quote, the lawless indictment in Florida should just be the first step of having all of his criminal cases dismissed, by the way. Now he's going to, to try to eliminate the thing he, he has already been convicted of which was the election interference hush money case. So he's trying to get rid of that now too, using immunity. And I'll be damned if, if he won't get his way on that one too, with everything else that's going on. Uh, there's more. The Democrat Justice Department coordinated all of these political attacks, which are an election interference conspiracy against Joe Biden's political opponent, me. He posted to True Social on Monday. Let's... Let us come together to end all weaponization of our justice system. That's his big unifying message, everybody. Uh, it's a, it's a, a Joe Biden a, a DOJ election conspiracy against me. Let's unite. Uh-uh. Hell no. Hell no. More responses here. Noah Rosenbaum, uh, Bloom, a professor at the NYU School of Law, said this. Quote, this is bonkers. She's just making things up. Yeah. Again, the, the prosecutors can, uh, you know, use this as a way to ask the appeals court for the case to be reassigned to a new judge, but understand that that's going to take a while. Okay. And, and, and this is, again, why it's still a big win. It's going to take a while. Cannon knew that, okay, because you can't just set up, you got four months to set up uh, an entire case. No, come on, goes through the appeals courts and everything. No, she was looking for a sign, a symbol that Donald Trump would win, that it would be safe to safely dismiss this case, knowing that the appeals process will take likely too long for it ever to even get to Donald Trump, and it never will if he wins. So once again, Trump skates away with something that no normal person would ever have a chance of getting away with. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shut down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.